The scale builds for all the characters that I started out with on this server are now 100% done. So what's next? When I started this project earlier in the year, there were three characters that I was really focused on getting complete. A mage, a sampire, and a crafter. The major holdup that I had was I needed a bunch of money to be able to afford the power scrolls to actually finish the characters. So I finally had that, and it was the last couple of weeks I buckled down and I got all the work done. Unfortunately, the only time that I really have to play the game right now is during my stream time, so that left me with some pretty boring stream content trying to finish out leveling Bushido, resisting spells, and meditation. Once I had wrapped up uh, resisting spells and meditation, I kind of then realized, well, there is one more character, the crafter, who still technically doesn't have carpentry maxed out, so I thought, all right, we better finish that too, so we can just make one video where we say everything's done. That's where we are now. To make this process a little bit less painful and boring to watch, I ended up pulling up my games backlog project again and resuming trying to beat all the old games that I have that I just never got around to. So for those that don't know, what I had been doing for the longest time was playing through all of my old backlog games, starting at games I had uh, on NES and working my way all the way up through the GameCube era. And back in January, I was playing through the Mega Man X collection on Mega Man X6, the last game, and I hated that game so much that I basically shelved the entire backlog project and started playing Ultima full time. The only logical thing to do then was to pick the project up where I left it, and that was to finish X6, which I did, and you will see that throughout this week's stream highlights. Just to reflect on the characters and the builds themselves, um, as far as the mage is concerned, I totally recognize that the build itself is probably not perfect. There's other ways to have made this more optimal, but I really liked having inscription on the build and imbuing to kind of give it that mage crafter type element. And I think that's really cool. And so that's what I'm gonna stick with. As far as the Sampire is concerned, I don't think it's too crazy. I think it's a pretty standard build. So I'm just glad to have Bushido done. That was super boring to level. And then last but not least, the crafter. It's pretty much got everything you want. It's got tinkering, carpentry, tailoring, blacksmithy, all maxed out. Of course, you need the arms lower, and we got some majory in there too for convenience. I've also got 100 mining in the build. I don't plan on doing much mining. Maybe I will. I'm not really sure, but it was so close to 100, I just said, whatever, let's get it done and call it good for now. We'll, we'll see where that goes. I should be pretty well set up to do whatever I need to do to craft myself some gear. Uh, and I can even do things like furniture too, which I actually started decorating the house more appropriately this week. So if you get a chance, check out the new house designs over in Moonglow. Uh, there should be some changes since you saw it last. Now to truly finish these characters, we got to turn our focus over to gear and end game content. And that's what we're going to do. So like I was saying, the next thing that we gotta do is we gotta finish gearing out the characters that we've built. And we can go about that in two ways. The first way would be farming gold and buying the equipment that we need. Uh, and the second way is trying to do end game content and perhaps getting some of the gear that way. And of course, some of the earnings you make during that process, you might be able to use to buy gear as well. The point of building these characters wasn't so that I would just do the same things I've been doing this whole time and things that a lower level character could be doing. I do want to do all the end game content because that's kind of the point. You make the characters, you do the end game content. So I think that's where you're going to see the majority of my time spent. That being said, I won't rule out the possibility of spending a little bit of time doing a seasonal event or a quest or something if the payout's really good. Uh, sometimes it just makes sense and it can be a nice break from what you're doing, especially if I can't rally enough people to join me on some end game content. Up next, we've got the stream highlights. And sorry for those of you who've been waiting for this video, I got hung up playing Darkest Dungeon because I wanted to beat that game in my backlog before uh, Darkest Dungeon 2 came out. So that's finally done. So Ultima should be back front and center again and you'll be seeing more videos, hopefully more regularly. So I, every day I've got to do a little bit of work on Bushido. We're at 102.5. Why don't we go for, I don't know. Let's see if we can make it to 10. Let's see if we can make it to 104. There we go. Now we get the wolf spiders going. Once we just have wolf spiders over here, then we'll be in good shape. We'll, we'll just start with Bushido. Lucky coin. I wonder what that's for. There we go. We got a gain right there. Oh, nice. Is that two gains? I think that was two gains. We're getting, no, that was one gain. 
I'll take anything at this point. 104, we're done. We're done. I'm not going to stay a minute longer. That's it. We're good. Um, that's, that's, that's what it is for the night. This is good. We're back to the high quality stream content. But that was why I came back. Like, I kind of knew from that account, I didn't know what I was doing in this game. And I thought, I should come back and like, figure it out. And then like, like proof of concept. Because the, the other thing is, is like, I always felt like, oh, I don't want to start from scratch because it'll be miserable and I already have so much. But like, it's pretty easy to kind of get going. Right? Like, people will complain and they'll say things like, oh, the economy is too screwed up. The economy is weird. Like, yeah, is there any point in me looting this 300 gold from these spiders? No, not really. But if you know what loot to look for, right, there could be some hidden gems in here that would sell for a lot. Or if you keep an eye out for events, you know, you'll figure out, oh, this sells for a lot. You just gotta, you've got to learn, like, what players want. And people are willing to tell you too. It's not like people are like veteran players like are willing to pay for things because they don't want to do it. So it's not like they're going to make it a secret. They need powder translocation. They will tell you, I will pay for powder translocation and you can use that information to make money. Oh, check it out. 109. We're, we're halfway there. My sense of time is obviously screwed up because of COVID. Everything is like, you know. When was that? Was it this year? Was it last year? I don't know. I was in the same room doing the same things, doing all, you know what I mean? It's, it all blurs together now. I was, uh, I did Bushido for a little bit and it was, uh, you know, super slow. We got like 0.3 in like a half an hour, point, point 0.1 or actually it's point 0.2 in a half an hour. Uh, I never got that point 0.3, that final point. So it's pretty, pretty awful, Bushido. All right, I want to scream. This is horrible. I, I, it's we've been going twenty minutes and I've gotten not a single gain. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. So we're gonna open up Excel and do some, do an assessment here. All right, Bushido, bam. Okay, are we ready for this tremendously exciting moment? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna finish this character. All right, so Bushido is up here, 118.2, 118.7, 119.3, 120, done. How about them apples? How about them chocolate covered strawberries? This character is officially done. So today is gonna be a different flavor of boring. It'll be less, uh, I'll have to do less. I'm hoping this is quick. Uh, we're gonna try to get resisting spells maxed out, which I think will we'll finish this character. We're gonna take over from this dude. I think he's cruising out here pretty soon. Okay, so we are consuming the uh, Legendary scroll of resisting spells, thus raising our cap to 120. Let's go for it. Consume. And do hopefully I have audio? Yes. Okay. Did he leave? He just left, didn't he? Okay. Perfect timing. I think I've I think this guy wasn't done yet. Well, I don't see him. So I honestly don't know. I didn't intend to steal anything from this dude. Looks like he, okay, looks like I'm, I'm on. It's, I'm in. So the question is, okay, so we're already, we're already at 100.4. Resisting 114.5. I don't know if it's slowing down or what. Uh, how are we doing over here? 118.9. 120 resisting spells. I don't know how long ago it was, but we finally got it. Congratulations to us. One more skill down. Let's invis. This guy can take over. Oh, hey, look. 19. That's really it? It's only 19 million? Absolutely, we'll do that. Let's go. Easy peasy. All right. Let's, uh, let's get back to focusing on Ultima here for a minute. All right, here's meditation. 
So we'll buy meditation. Am I online? Can I be heard? I'm heard, I think. Okay, so uh, meditation, let's consume this. So this will set me back a little bit. I won't be done with this character tonight as a result, but... Um, it will be super easy to finish this up. Uh, psh, 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 psh. What do I want? What do I want to drop again? Necromancy. That's right. So we're gonna drop that. We're gonna consume meditation, and then I guess we're gonna spam earthquake. All right. So the only thing left for us to work on, friends, friends is meditation, which I purchased last night. So I could, in theory, I've got a macro here that will, that will chain cast earthquake. And I, we, we could indulge ourselves in some Mega Man. I mean, this is, this is boring. I don't know how long this will take. What do you guys think? Do you guys want me to fire up some Mega Man while we, while we do this? I've got my Wiimote right here. Oh, and I left Mega Man X6 on all night. Uh, let's see here. How's Ultima going? It's going slow and steady. Uh, back to Ultima Online, the preferred game. Let's look and see what we got here. Because I'm done with Mega Man tonight. So we are 108.4. So we're pretty close. Um, it's going to take a, probably another day. Probably tomorrow we should be able to get it sorted out, maybe is my guess. Um, because what's going on on the other screen, Space Boy, which I'm monitoring, which you just can't see, is this. Basically, the skill that I'm leveling right now is meditation here, getting it to 120, and then I'm done with all my character skills. Um, but the way that you level this is... Oh... Because it's in the backlog. I'm just playing through. I was beating the Mega Man X collection. And this was the last one. We beat X1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 already. This is the last one to be done with this game. And I was halfway done. So I was just picking up where I left off. That's it. Maybe. Cool. Meditation 115.4. Okay. Seems like a good place to, um, a good place to not continue. Uh, let's go to, back to Ultima here. Let's see how's it going. We are at Meditation 116 out of 120. We're close, but we're not there. Okay, well, I think tonight's the night. I think tonight is the night that we will be finishing our character skills. We should uh, stop and savor this final boring run into 120 meditation where we're finally finished with this character skills. Done with all skills except for apparently carpentry, which I forgot. Which is not really important because I'm not... Well, I do need to decorate the house. So I will just stare at the screen as my earthquake macro runs as we finally round the final home stretch here and finish this character too how long will this take the last point one it's been 30 minutes and we've gotten a full point so it can't be that long Done. 120. There it is. Meditation. 120. The character is finally done. 
That means both of my main characters that I started out with uh, are now finished. So that's awesome. We're done with the two characters I was I was worried about uh, skill wise. Now it's just all about gear and then deciding do I want to finish up carpentry? I think right now let's scoop up the boards we can. Let's switch over to the crafter and let's see what kind of effort that's going to take. You know, I'm trying to decide, like, do I want to, like, do I want to finish carpentry? So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not convinced this is, like, great stream content. But, like, there's part of me that's also, like, I want to get stuff done. So, I could play a, another game as I do this. That would be possible. That would be one option. You know what? Luna might be better for this, as much as I'm sure people love hearing me carpenter things do carpentry in the middle of the bank area but it, it would be quicker overall to do this because i can sit right next to the trash can everything i need is right here all right let's see if we can bring the nintendo in we're working on carpentry and playing Mega Man x6 that's what's happening right now let's see if we can move everything kind of on screen where people couldn't could see it because I mean this is thrilling Ultima online content here I would I would imagine this is the most authentic way to play Ultima when you're leveling grinding out slow skills playing other games I'm not hearing any carpentry going on here it's because of the board situation 325 and let's dispose of this and proceed wooden shield carpentry we still got one and a half points before we're done with that this is the dumbest game ever this is going to just require like 25 minutes of focus to get this right this is crazy the whole fight is just this dash and timing this dash that's it that's the whole thing and I hate it. You stupid boss. That was a stupid boss. Whoever invented that boss should not be allowed to make games. Oh my god. That was the worst. Back to Carpentry. 325. Can I hit him with his own ability here? Oh, you moron. Absolute moron. This seems doable, albeit really tough. Like this is this is a boss I can forgive someone for. This seems at least like kind of fun, maybe. Mm. Now we're all in, unfortunately. Oh my god, we got him. I better be careful and still and not like fall off a pit right now it's really good that i got my heart rate really pumping here before bedtime that was that was nice uh, might as well do this while we wait right uh, ch -ch -ch. okay so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to really stock up here on just high quality Tools. So let's go 300 of these and we're going to go with saw make max and then we're going to toss any that are under 100 I think. That should be enough for tonight I feel like. Well let's finish off three more. Oh, 72. We'll, we'll make it. You know what? No, you got to be exceptional. We're now creating. We're now working back on carpentry again. Carpentry 75.1. I don't know how bad it's going to get as I level up. Oh, that's the end of the life. Whatever.
I mean, we know what to do. We know how to do it. We know how to play it. Just got to play it better. All right, back to Ultima. We have two boards left in that bag. Garbage. 25. Gnarled Staff. Big Max. Let's go. I don't even know what to say to that. I really don't. Like it's good to it's good to have beaten it, but <laughs> thanks. I, this game this is the game that made me rage quit my retro backlog back in January. So, uh do with that what you will. It's I think it's done now. Carpentry, carpentry. All right, check it out, guys. So let's buy this. Buy this. So I just short-tracked our journey to finishing carpentry here, people, just in case you were wondering what I'm doing. Uh, so check it out. Um, right here, these are five-point scrolls of transcendence. We bought these for 1.8 million a piece. Which is okay. I'm I'm doing fine on gold. Um, so let's go right here. Blacksmithing or carpentry 89.1. Let's make sure we got plenty of room. Yep. Okay. Let's consume that. 94.1. Let's consume this. 99.1. All right. So then we just need... Carpentry point eight by four hundred thousand. Teleport to vendor. All right. Well, I suppose we can head back to the house now and enjoy this moment together. Welcome everybody. I wasn't expecting to do this tonight, but I didn't realize these carpentry scrolls were so friggin' cheap. I guess here's the magic the magical moment where we finish the characters that we were starting out to do. Wasn't expecting this tonight, but okay. Uh, 99.9 .9 and 100. There you have it. Carpentry's 100. That is Arms Lore 100, Blacksmithing 120, Carpentry 100, Majory, it doesn't matter. Tailoring 120, Tinkering 100. So I, I you know, I'm not super interested in, in finishing any of the other skills. Although I'd be curious what it would cost to just scroll of transcendence mining and just be like mega done oh this yeah these are cheapo mining buy yes teleport to vendor all right well i guess this is just bonus mining gm mining now so that's it and this character's done I, I don't at all care about the majory. So. That's it. All the characters are done. It's pretty cool. I'm excited for that. We uh, now it's purely now I can finish my YouTube video for this week because all of them are done. And. And also. Um, now it's just time to focus on gear. This project is really coming along. I'm excited. I appreciate you guys being here to hang out. So should I ask them if they should like and subscribe? Uh, no. Make sure you check out all the videos in the series. I've linked above the full playlist so that you can start from the beginning and, and watch through all the way to the end if you're interested. Thanks for watching.